For the moment, we appear to be safe. But what are the things scientists are doing to prepare for a possible invasion? Can we take what we've learned from the management and control of other invasive species in the lake to prepare for the invasion of something new? In order to explore some possible answers to these questions, I met with Jeff Tyson. Jeff and others like him are responsible for monitoring the spread of invasive species already in Lake Erie. Another one of his jobs is to prevent new invasive species from getting in. So what are you doing to manage and control the invasives that are already in Lake Erie? I can give you an example of one invasive that is relatively effectively managed in Lake Erie. It's the sea lamprey. And there is an effective program in place that's administered by the Great Lakes Fishery Commission to control sea lamprey. And they go into tributary streams and effectively apply lamprecide to kill off the, the young lamprey. Mm -hmm. um, it's an ongoing process though, and it costs a lot of money to do it every year. Are any other methods that are also successful? They do have some other techniques such as trapping, and they've got some hormone, uh, pheromone treatment mm -hmm. uh, techniques that they use. That's right. Charlie Woolley also talked about using pheromones to control sea lamprey in the Great Lakes. Pheromones are naturally produced by an animal to attract other animals of the same species. In his opinion, this technique could eventually be used to protect Lake Erie from a future Asian carp invasion. Well, the researchers can come in and target certain pheromones within those fish and then possibly attract Asian carp into areas where we could apply a chemical that would just kill the Asian carp. That's on the drawing books, it's a ways out, but we have researchers that are looking at those kind of options right now. Now it's time for you to investigate some of these techniques a little bit further. Although many of these methods are successful, there are some concerns about people introducing chemicals or other biological agents into the waterways and onto the land. I'd like you to work with your teacher to find other examples of invasive species that have been successfully, or unsuccessfully, controlled by people. Have these methods ever backfired? What techniques are used to determine whether a certain method is actually successful? As you look into these questions, you'll get a better idea of how we, as humans, interact with our environment and how we affect the ecosystems that we live in and use for our own needs. Next. Predicting the future. Life Science Investigation is a production of WVIZ PBS IdeaStream Education in collaboration with Great Lakes Science Center and is made possible by a grant from eTech Ohio. For additional videos and resources for the classroom, visit wviz.org/lsi.